Hello everyone, my name is Bo Ji. I'm the Assistant Dean and Chief Representative for Europe at Chen Kong Graduate School of Business, a leading business school in China that with offers global perspective and China insight. I have brought some startup company and also entrepreneurs to China to pitch to the Chinese investors. And I found that many of them don't know how to pitch to the Chinese investors. That's why I summarized eight must-knows in pitching to Chinese investors. It is very important to understand the cultural difference and also understand different social behavior in order for you to successfully pitch to the Chinese investors. First, your business should not be too early stage. Chinese investor being on the other side of the ocean, they would like to invest in a company that is relatively established in its business model, revenue model, distribution channel, etc. etc. So if you already have a, a sustainable business, the business itself is generating revenue, you have a viable business model, likely you are able to pitch to the Chinese investor successfully. If you don't have a successful business model and it's too early in the stage, you can still pitch to the Chinese investor. But then you have to really put a lot of effort to make the investor understand why they should invest in such an early stage venture. You need to paint to them how big the market is, how big of a problem you're trying to solve, and how new the technology is, how breakthrough it is. So if you can demonstrate to that, even though you're in the early stage, perhaps you're okay to pitch to the Chinese investor and they would like you to invest in your company. Second, make sure you include China as part of your business plan. Many businesses, when they pitch to the Chinese investor, if you, don't, if you don't want to enter Chinese market, then the investor have some resistance to invest in your company, with two reasons. One is they would like to invest in a company that is in China, because they can control that. And second is they would like to help you to succeed in China because they have a lot of relationship, they can help you to do that. Now, if you don't have a plan to enter Chinese market, and you should develop one, maybe not right away, you should show to the Chinese investor that maybe you will spend two years to develop your business in Europe, in America, and then afterwards you have a plan to expand to China. So that is also okay, and it's important to have that. Third, invest yourself in China. For instance, be ready to tell the investor that once you receive the investment, maybe you will personally move to China, or maybe you will establish a team in China, maybe you will start to learn Chinese, etc. So that shows to the investor that you're committed in this business in China. That is enormously important. Chinese like you to be in China. They like to build that relationship instead of you're here in Europe and there in China. The fourth, relationship first and pitch later. Many people make the mistake. They go to the room, start to pitch. I would argue that you should always go to the pitching session much earlier. Greet the investor, have a small talk with them, laugh with them, you know, let them understand who you are, where do you live, your life, your children, and everything, etc. And why you do that? Because China is a very old country. They value relationship. And once they feel comfortable with you, then the hurdle will be moved away. But if you, they don't know you, they will have trouble to believe in you. They will have trouble to invest in your company. So it's very important that you arrive ahead of the time and build small talk, relationship before you pitch to them. The fifth, speak slowly. Many Western uh, entrepreneurs is so excited whenever they talk, they talk very fast. And then the Chinese investor usually, if they understand English, don't assume their English is up to speed. Don't assume they're at the same level. Even they understood English, you have to speak very slowly to make sure that they really understand what you're talking about. So it's not about a speech to make yourself feel great. It's 
a pitch to make sure your investor actually understand what you're talking about. So sometimes repeat yourself. And the important point, make sure observe them, make sure they really understand some of the key points you're talking about. So speak slowly and speak to their heart to make sure they understand. The sixth, be patient. And it's very important for the Chinese investor. They have a different culture. They sometimes do things very fast, but lots of time they take time. Why they take time? They want that relationship to be built. So as a Western entrepreneur, sometimes when the Chinese investor didn't react right away, it doesn't mean they're not interested in investing in your company. It will be a big mistake if you start to stop communicating with them and thinking that they're not interested. It's simply it, you need to be more patient and take time. So take time with the Chinese investor and sometimes they may ask you to pitch a game, meeting with other people, follow that logic. If you think it's too much, then you're not patient and you don't understand this culture. So it's very important that you're patient. It could take a long time. It could take much longer time because they also are not in China. They're far away from you. They need to feel comfortable before they make the investment. The seventh, how to handle the silence during the Q&A. A uh, lot of entrepreneurs, when they are making the fantastic pitch afterwards, they're asking, do you have any questions? Now, first of all, when you ask that question, do you have any questions? Many entrepreneurs speak so passionately and so you know loud that make a lot of Chinese investors feel humiliated. So as a result, nobody speak up to ask any question. That is bad to you because the more questions they ask, you can more engage in them. So what you should do is after the presentation, you gently finish and then slowly ask, well, I just finished my pitch. I don't know whether you fully understand it, you fully understand my business, whether you have any questions, slowly. And don't make people feel like you need an answer and people someone ask a question right away. And rather you make them feel you're patiently waiting for you to raise your hand to ask questions. And then after that, you start to observe the room, everyone, to see whether someone are showing sign to ask questions. Because in Chinese culture, nobody wants to be the first one to ask the question. And sometimes you could even arrange someone to sit in, in, in this crowd, and then someone would ask a question first, and gently. And then that will encourage other people to start to ask the questions. So wait patiently, wait to see whether someone starts to move their body, or start to look around, that's a sign that they may have a question. If that happens, maybe you could look at their eyes and walk closer to them, but not very aggressively, and ask them that, do you have a question? So, be patient, and also handle the silence very wisely in Q&A session. Eight, the most important, the last point I want to make is, no Chinese culture, but be yourself. Many Western entrepreneurs make the mistake. When they go to China, they start to see the culture is so different. Then they start to learn how to become like a Chinese. And the moment they became like a Chinese, started to talk and started to behave like that, then the Chinese see this as a problem. Because they would rather to have a Western entrepreneur who are transparent were simple and to invest in them rather than someone who is very sophisticated Chinese. So very important, be yourself, but then you should understand the Chinese behavior, understand the cultural differences, understand the certain traditions, but still you need to be yourself. In conclusion, I would say that all the eight points are extremely important as you pitch to the Chinese investor. And be patient and speak slowly and handle the silence wisely. And finally, be yourself. And be there, be transparent. 
and Chinese investor would understand what you're talking about and be honest, that is very important. I hope you will successfully pitch to the Chinese investor. Thank you very much.